All right, so let's take another problem. It's called the air conditioning problem. So what we're going to do with this is that first we're going to practice again the skill that hopefully you have acquired, which is formulating the model. And what I mean by formulating the model, that means expressing the problem in the linear programming using uh, mathematical uh, expressions. So this will be um, a good practice for you. And then we're going, I'm going to show you again another demonstration of how to build this model on Excel and then how to solve it using Solver. All right, so I strongly advise you that um, don't uh, watch the video, uh, pause it immediately now and read the problem, read the uh, check what are the parameters, try to uh, build the model yourself. All right, you are asked to build an LP model here so that you maximize the profit. So what do we have here? A company makes three kinds of uh, air conditioning. One is called economy, standard and deluxe. And what do we know about that is that, of course, they, they use different components, but we are interested into three, uh, three resources, two components and the man hours. So we have fans, we have cooling coils, and we have man hours, of course. So economy, it uses one fan, one cooling coil, and eight hours to make one, and it can generate a profit of $63 per unit while the standard also requires one. In fact, all of them, they use only one fan. However, this requires two cooling coils and 12 hours to uh, assemble, and then it, it generates $95, while the Deluxe, it has four cooling coils and 14 man hours to assemble, and it generates $135 per profit. Now, what about the availability of our resources? We know that we have only 200 fans available for us, 320 cooling coils, and 2400 man hours. So how can we first represent this problem in an LP formulation? All right, so let's build the LP. First, we need to define the decision variables. It's very important. Decision variables here are obviously are the quantities of uh, uh, each one of these three products. So here we go. E is the number of units of economy to make. S of standard, uh, sorry, it should be standard here. So uh, please replace it with uh, one sec. So this is of standard. All right, I'm sorry about this. And deluxe of deluxe to make. All right, now the decision variables are well defined and we are ready to do the formulation. Again, what I mean by formulation is the mathematical expression of the objective function and the mathematical of ex expression of each of the constraints. So what's our objective? Maximize the profit. How can we find the profit? Here we go, you multiply the profit per unit by the number of units to produce, which we have defined as E, S, and D. So I multiply 63 by E, right? And 95 by S and 135 by D. So my profit is, here we go. I need to maximize my profit, which is 63 E plus 95 S plus 135 D. Subject to, what are my constraints? I need to uh, uh, meet the requirements. I cannot exceed the available resources. So the fans, I have a maximum of 200 fans. How can I, so this is the available, but how can I quantify how much I'm using? So I multiply each one of these by the quantity that I want to produce of each one of the products. So it's one times this plus one times that plus one times deluxe, right? Here we go. So remember that this part is always represents the used, okay? The used resource. While the right hand side, it represents the, I'm sorry that this is gibberish, but it's okay. This is used and this is available. Now, the second one, the cooling coils, the used, to quantify the used quantity, again, I multiply. Uh, the requirement per unit, so it's 1 times E plus 2 times S plus 4 times D. This is how much I need, and this should be less or equal than what I have, which is 320. Here we go. The last one, same logic again. So here we go. Now we have the three 
<coughs> constraint and don't forget the non-negativity constraints. So this is our complete model. Remember, you always start by defining very well your decision variables. Okay, now <coughs> let's solve it also using solver. So it will be a good opportunity for you for another demo. So here is another demo for <coughs> building a model on Excel and uh, solving it. This is the air conditioning problem. As I uh, mentioned in my previous demo, so let's not repeat it. The upper part of my spreadsheet will be uh, designated for the parameters, so for the given data. So you can notice here that this is all the data that I uh, showed you before. Now let's build the model. The first part is my decision variable. So I have a cell for every one. This is, of course, very, very important. And I want to give a value of one for each one. Here we go. Now I have my objective function, which is a profit. So this is now, um, I'm going to show you a shortcut. Instead of doing this is equal to this times that plus this times that, etc. Okay, instead of doing this, because you may have, let's say, 20 of these, you don't want to do that. You can simply use the Excel function sum product. So equal sum product. And some product, as the name implies, it's um, you sum product. So, right, so you, you add up products. So here we go. We are summing the product of each one of these by each one of that. And Excel understand that then you want to multiply D14 by D21 and add to it E. 14 by E21 and F14 by F21, and you press enter. Again, this is a good uh, um, uh, or another uh, proof for you why it's good to give a value of one uh, for your decision variables because I know that the sum of these I can read down it's 293. All right, now let's put my uh, constraints the left hand side. Also, I'm going to use some product. So equal some product of this one by, I'm going to buy these, right? And you close the parentheses. Now, before I press enter, I need to do one more thing because I need I don't want to repeat this, typing the same function again for this row and for that row. I, I, I want to drag the function, which is a good property in Excel, which will copy the function. However, when I copy the function, I want Excel to only uh, use then the second row, but also multiply by the same value. So that's why I'm going to lock these values. Okay, how to lock you? Uh, you select them and function F4. And here we go, and you press enter. Now what you can do, look at this. I can simply drag it down. And for example, you can see that this one is referring to D9, F9, which are these, by the same uh, array here, which is D20 to F20, right? You can see it here, uh, sorry, D21 over to F21. You can see it here. Then here also, this is equal to that. And I will do it only once because also now that you know about the dragging thing, I will drag it and here we go. Now my model on, on spreadsheet is ready. Now I need to link these cells, all these cells to as data entry for, for my solver, right? So we go data. We go solver, also our reset all, and I'm going to show you one more, um, one more uh, uh, shortcut in solver itself, which is very, very important also. It saves time. So set objective. My objective is the cell where we typed our objective function. Also here I need to maximize, so I leave it this. Then by changing variables, which are these, the yellow ones, and this is why I use uh, coding, color coding. 
then I want to add constraint. Look here, I'm going to do it in one shot. Since all my constraints have less or equal, they are all they all have the same type. That means I can enter all these in one shot. Look at this. I will select all these as the entry here, and then less or equal, and I will select all these. So which means also solver will understand uh, that I need D31 to be less or equal than F31 and D32 less or equal than F32, etc. And I press OK. So if you have, let's say, 50 constraints, this will really solve you a lot of time. OK, and you press OK, and you press Solve. OK, now I need to do one more, and look at this, I have a... Um, uh, solution before we discuss solution I need to show you one more thing Excel ask you or solver ask you do you want to generate a report yes we want a sensitivity report I'm not going to show you now the sensitivity report we're going to discuss it in a moment but just to show you how easy it is to generate a, uh, a report once you solve the model on solver so and now you press OK and you can see that one more sheet was added here, which is my sensitivity report. All right, but let me go back here now. And here we go. This is my solution. So the solution is to make 80 of this, 120 of standard, and nothing of the deluxe. And this will generate a profit of 16,440. And also in the constraint, you can see what are the binding constraints. I can see easily that these two are binding because the left-hand side is equal to the right-hand side. And I'm giving it a heading which shows you what is that. This is the usage and this is the available. So I'm using what's available. So it's a binding constraint. While in the man hours, I use 2080 hours out of 2400 hours. So I have a slack, right? Remember slack different between right, right hand side and left hand side. Okay, so I hope that this demo was clear for you. And I'm, I'm sure that now you can build your own models.